Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. I'm with my, with my wife, Melissa, who I've always referred to as my spare rib. I can never get her on camera, so I thought, hey, come on down and uh, at least let me get you on camera so you can say hi, right? Hi. So, um, anyway, in the uh, last basement update video, I think uh, I had this wall over here uh, to the right of us uh, framed and our office framed. And, and, it's, and uh, I guess I just got so carried away with... Uh, moving crap around down here and framing and moving crap and framing that uh, I got uh, didn't really think much about um, uh, doing update videos so um, with that out of the way I think I'll take you around and show you what we've done and and uh, and uh, thank you to my beautiful spare rib for reluctantly reluctantly getting on the camera so hey I'm just out of curiosity in the comments down below you know, my wife is a good cook. You see this? She's a good cook. I'm thinking that she could do, you know, like some little recipes or stuff to share with the rest of us, some of the good stuff she makes. So you let me know. You, let me know down in the, uh, in the uh, doobly-doo down there, as AVE would call it, and uh, mm. tell us what you think. All right, so let me uh, reposition the camera, and we'll go from there. Bye. So back over there against the wall, next to the water heater and the deep freeze there is where the washer and dryer set. And before I can finish any of the framing over in this area, which would consist of a bit of a cutout um, for the deep freeze and the bathroom, um, I had to move the washer and dryer. And at the same time, my wife said, you know, um, we made a mistake, probably should have bought the base so we went with our washer, and would you build a base so that I'm not having to bend over way over on the way over to get the laundry in and out all the time, and you know, and so, um, did do that so here you see the washer and the dryer in their new location and here are the bases that I made now this base here uh, I made these 15 inches tall so maybe it's a little tall I don't know but I did put a drawer and these are full extension drawers so uh, hopefully you know that'll give her a place to store stuff uh, you know when this when this room is complete still got some more to do uh, but now in order to move the washer and dryer I had to I had to run electricity for the washer, had to run electricity for the dryer, had to run water and new uh, drain lines and, and uh, exhaust uh, venting for the uh, dryer. And one thing I do want to talk about is the exhaust um, venting. Let me move a couple things out of the way and I'll bring you right in there. Okay, so in order to move the uh, dryer, I had to run new, uh, new vent. Now the, the this four inch uh, aluminum uh, solid, solid, uh, rigid vent from the back of the dryer all the way out, and I'll show you the back of the dryer in a minute. But one thing that I, I want to point out, um, according to code, you can only run a dryer vent so far uh, without having a, a boost, and that's what this is. This is a, a booster fan, and uh, the way this works, it's got a pressure sensor on it, so when the dryer kicks on, it senses a drop in pressure, and then this fan kicks on and boosts it, and it will run for 10 minutes at a time. Uh, and after 10 minutes, check to see if the, the dryer is still running, and if it is, it continues to run. So it may run up to 10 minutes after the dryer kicks off. Now, um, the install instructions for this, just in case you're curious, uh, said that if you have less than 15 linear feet between the blower and the dryer, and that's not calculated feet, because remember, elbows cost you five to seven feet, right? But uh, actual linear feet, that they recommend a uh, inline uh, lint trap. So that's what that is. Of course, and across here you see where I have the uh, put in the drain line for the uh, <clears throat> washer, and then that little one-inch stubbed-out area there will uh, eventually be the drain line for my for my sink. So we'll go back uh, to the back side. Um, well, we'll start at the hall and work our way down, and and uh, we'll get to the back side, and I'll show you the back side of uh, the services for the washer and dryer. So catch you in just a second. So what you're seeing here is a view of the uh, of the uh, hallway, and just you'll see about where the cat is right there. There's a doorway that'll go into the laundry room. So from uh, there, we're going to go down here, and we're going to look at the uh, other end of the basement and uh, and the stairwell. And uh, let me get the camera in position, and we'll take a look. Okay, I want to attempt to go handheld, and if I uh, get you seasick or drunk, um, forgive me. All right, so. This is my steps that come down into the basement, and you can see that I framed a uh, 
frame to wall and a doorway in front of those so that'd be a, a sort of a finished closet to get a curtain wall and and that sort of stuff but you notice over here on the end there's a 20 by 30 opening that will be the cold air return for the basement so let me come over here and we'll take a little closer look at uh, the washer and dryer here you see that I've run PEX in um, and, a, and a washer box here and the drain coming out and P-trap and then uh, because I'm so far away from the vent and I can't really get a vent all the way out I've put in a, studer, uh, a, 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 a riser pipe here with a studer vent on top and then here you can see where I've brought the uh, the ductwork out for the dryer and then that white ring you see there will be fastened to the drywall when it actually goes in and then it just of course runs down and and under the steps and around like you've seen so th that was a bit of a job you know uh, I had to get that done before I can uh, continue on with the framing and uh, so let me get the uh, camera position here and and I'll show you the other bits that have been framed okay so this is that very first long wall that you've seen uh, probably in video two uh, so here this is uh, what you're seeing back there would be the north wall and it is framed all the way across um, over to there and then remember I told you that I would be putting in a half wall so there's a half wall that would uh, create a visible break between the two rooms and then I've used two by sixes to uh, frame this column out here just so that it you know so that it just looks beefier and you know because there's real no good way of hiding this column and then finally the uh, this would be the east wall I've got it framed all out and you see it comes over to the steps and then let me uh, change the uh, camera position and I'll try to give you a better angle okay then I added a new landing and a new step now the steps when I actually go to do them they'll get new treads and risers uh, those are just on there of course I had to take out some of the drywall so that I can run electricity and plumbing through the wall and then uh, over here in this corner you can't really see but I have a couple um, couple pieces stubbed out that will come down to the sink of my bar so uh, let me uh, let me get the camera set back on the tripod and we'll close this uh, we'll close this little video out so you notice you know things have changed a little bit from my initial video in my initial video I said that uh, you know, my daughter and uh, her husband was uh, gonna move in for a little bit until they can you know find a place of their own he just got out of the military and um, so my intention was to just frame an office right uh, dry it up, run electricity, and move my office down there and um, call it that. But you know, I think uh, my, my buddy Walt from uh, Southern Engineering says, you know, mission creep's a problem. And so that's once, once I started um, uh, framing it out and the things that I wanted to do, I couldn't really put a hard ceiling in the office until I had other things done. So I decided probably the best thing to do is just frame the whole basement. Now I have to go through and I got to get rid of a bunch of stuff. You know, I got stuff everywhere, right? And what's compounded and made it worse is that I had to free up a bedroom. Um, so my daughter and her husband uh, had a place to sleep. So my office ended up coming down here. You're seeing that behind me. And then when um, the movers uh, were supposed to bring, um, you know, just a little bit of stuff here in their clothes and that sort of stuff uh, here and the rest was supposed to go into storage, they end up bringing more here than they thought so I got even more stuff to work around so that's that's kind of the problem but look it is what it is I'm not uh, I'm not sweating and uh, if you followed any of my shop update videos where you know I had to dry it out and all the crap out there to move around you, you see what I'm going through so uh, it's it slowed me down but it's something that I need to get done now as far as framing goes <clears throat> um, the design changed just a little bit because the original design that I showed there wasn't uh, uh, after you know, I laid those walls out, and, and I looked at my deep freeze, and I thought, yes, that's, that's not going to fit. And uh, sure enough, I measured it and kind of drew a box on the floor. I'm like, no, nah, there's no way that's going to work. So uh, I had to, my wife and I sit down. We'd done some redesigning, and and uh, so we got an inset uh, to set the freezer in and the laundry room, and then we still end up with a full bath, um, uh, with a tub, a shower, and you know, a, a toilet and a sink and then a small closet in the corner of that uh, about about four foot by three foot that will house the uh, sewage ejection pump so it, I, I think it's going to just work out so at least I'm to the point now where I can move back on to the framing and, and like I said I think um, 
you know, it's probably just one good day. Because most of this I've had to do by myself. Now, my son, Zach, he's helped when he's, when he's uh, had the, uh, uh, the time. He's been working a lot of hours here lately. Uh, but, you know, when you do it by yourself, it's just slow business. And, uh, but as soon as I get the framing done, then I'll probably start electrical rough in. I'm going to do it in phases. I'll get all the electrical rough in. Um, or I might do the HVAC first uh, because I, there's some soffits that I cannot build until uh, the HVAC is run because I'm not sure where or how uh, the soffit is going to end. If you're not familiar with soffit, you know, in a basement you have all kinds of crap hanging down. You got pipes, you got ductwork, and I want a hard ceiling. So in order to, to get that, I will have to build some framing around the bottoms of like ductwork or I might have to uh, uh, scab out uh, the floor joists with two befores to drop it down so that I can get past any existing wiring and that sort of stuff. Uh, so you know, bef so I might do HVAC next, and uh, and then we'll probably yeah I think that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna do probably HVAC when I get the the wall framing done. I'll do HVAC next, and then uh, once that's in, I'll do the uh, I'll do the uh, uh, the soffit framing and that sort of stuff, and then I can do my regular electrical um, rough end for uh, lights and and uh, and uh, receptacle switches and all that sort of stuff. I still have to frame the bar in. Uh, I'll frame it in and get the uh, uh, the, the water uh, line stubbed out and uh, the drain line stubbed out to it. Now my intention for the wet bar is that uh, I'm going to use a sink pump which uh, I don't know if you've ever seen one. It mounts directly to the drain of the sink and uh, pumps up through a check valve usually into a one inch line. It will pump up to, vertically, up to about 17 feet or so. And uh, I'll take that up to my one inch line and then I showed you earlier where I stubbed that out where that's gonna happen. Now, as far as shop stuff, look guys, I'm not giving up shop stuff. There's nothing more that I'd like to do than get in the shop. Now, I do got some, um, uh, some new goodies for the shop. I wanna do a shop update video probably just so that uh, we can get that out there and. And then I think uh, when I get the framing done, you know, I, I, I think I really want to have in uh, my possession the tub unit and shower that I want to put in uh, so that I know that, uh, you know, I have the framing right. Now, most of them, you know, it's like 60 inches on frame, you know, but I have seen some that are like 60 and a quarter, right? Uh, a little bit of an odd ball size or they specify certain stud layout. So uh, that, and of course, you know, I'm doing this debt free. I wanna, I'm gonna, you know, uh, you know, pay cash for that, you know, and, and have it in hand before maybe some of that framing gets done. So I'll play it by ear. So I might actually have end up with a little time that I can spend out in the shop, simply because, um, I, you know, I don't have the materials that I need, um, or fixtures that I need at that point to do more work in the basement. And uh, I realize it's been, I, I didn't realize it's been a month, man, since I updated. So I'm really sorry about that. And uh, I'll uh, try to do better on these updates. Uh, I get working down here on a, on a weekend and it just, it just completely escapes me. I'm just, you know, got the music blaring and, and carrying on. And I, you know how it is. I, you guys know how it is. And when you do things for yourself, you know how it is. You just get busy. So anyway, look, I want to thank you guys for your patience, right? I want to thank you for all the comments. Uh, the emails and the suggestions that you guys send, um, they're great. You know, I'm a neophyte machinist. I'm learning. You guys have been wonderful to me. I am not a carpenter, um, but the stuff is coming along pretty good. I spent a lot of time uh, trying to learn how to do it and that sort of stuff. So if you got any questions about uh, what I've done or if you, if you happen to have noticed something and ask why i done it that way or you think that i done something wrong, hey, let me know. Now's the time to correct it, right? So uh, anyway, again, thank you for, for your patience and watching my videos and spending the time with me. It's important. Uh, you guys, uh, uh, you, you ladies and gentlemen, are wonderful. And uh, I want to thank my wife again, you know, for, uh, you know, overcoming. She's afraid to death of the camera for whatever, you know. So I'm, I'm glad I got her in there. And, and you know what? She is a really good cook. And I think that, uh, you know, I think uh, I would like to see her, uh, you know, maybe make a couple simple things and share good recipes, you know, and uh, good, good stuff. So other than that, uh, if the uh, videos are entertaining or you like them, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. And other than that, have a blessed day.